It's a school night. What a bed. You're lucky to be up this late at all. Yeah, very lucky. And the hell up there. Who are you talking to last night? I was just dreaming. Were you dreaming about Mum? I know what it's like to lose your wife. You think there can't be a God. When you see a ghost, your brain splits in two. One side of you is rejecting what you're seeing, and the other side is screaming, but this is real. You have such an honesty in your writing. The ghosts in your books, they're so real. Welcome to Ireland. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that you lost your wife. It's tough on the kids. Very tough on you, too. <laughs> you really believe in ghosts, don't you? Have you seen one? I don't know. Look at you, you look fantastic. <laughs> you told me that you and your wife were separated. Well, I've never been more separated than I was that night. What is that? I don't know. It is freaky. Did you ever knock anybody out? Brutally satisfying, I have to say. They get us to come to their festival, and then they start hitting us with their ideas and their obsessions. I see the way he looks at you. That guy is a stalker. Can you see the ghost of someone who's still alive? Maybe that person's close to death. Stop harassing this woman. <laughs> the honesty has to end. Oh! I'm sure you didn't do this to yourself. I mean, if you were dreaming, you could have been sleepwalking. It's not like a dream. You can't explain it. They're terrified of forgetting that person. You hang on to the pain because you're afraid that if you let it go... That you'll lose them.